Hello and welcome to a new project, new series of video. I have an issue with my lightning. It's either too, too bright or too dark. I cannot adjust my camera accordingly, so I want that I can dim my lightning. I had an issue before because I used sunlight and then there were uh, clouds coming and so on, so this was not working as well. So I constructed here a little arch with, with LEDs huh? and now they are too bright. Or if I adjust the camera down, they are too, <laughs> they are not bright enough. Yeah? They are too dark. So I want them to be dimmable. Huh? No problem, you think. Huh? We will see. Because actually what I want to do is, here is a sample of those LED stripes I've used here. So they are 24 volt LED stripes and I want to do this with BWM, of course. Here there is a trigger that I can drive the, the voltage, the high voltage. So this is a MOSFET trigger element. I want to use to, to adjust the brightness and I want to use this D1 Mini. This D1 Mini device uh, to adjust this. Uh, so actually first goal today would be to get this D1 Mini device up and running and see you know, the issue with PWM is always flickering. If I'm recording, yeah, this is flickering. Maybe. Well, I show you what I mean. Here, if I turn on my light, you see immediately flickering. Here, yeah, you see immediately flickering at the, at, at the door and so on. Ah, this, I, of course, this is not good. Yeah, this is not good. So, I hope if I do it fast enough, then there is no flickering at all. I just need to be fast enough for the camera. What is fast enough? We are going to find out. So I place my T1 Mini here on the breadboard somewhere. Then I will simply use a LED. Which output do I use? Oh, it's T1. I'm using D1. Ah, it's D1. This one. And a series resistor. And then we need a ground connection. Where is ground? Here is ground. All right. Everything on one side. This is already good. So actually, first goal would be connect. I'm going to connect. Where is the cable? Cook, cook, cable. Here is the cable. You're going to connect this. Check. Bim, bidi, bim. Mm, sounded already pretty good. All right. And now, first thing I want to do is just to adjust the brightness here of this one, one LED with a little program. And just, I've never worked with the D1 Mini to find out how this is working. So switch to the computer. So at the computer I already made a new project. I call it Studio Light. It's not really a studio, but hey, names, names are selling Studio Light. All right. And I've selected here already D1 Mini Clone. I hope this is the correct one. And of course, this, the COM board, COM board is for sure correct. So actually what I'm going to do is just say pin mode. Pin mode, and we had this D1 bin, and it must be an output. Output, and then we are, I will do for i, int i, for i equals zero. I smaller than 255. I hope this is working equally than on the on the Arduinos, not on the ASP32. There was an issue. Yeah. I plus plus. 
I++ and then I make an analog right, all right, uh, to D1 with the value I. So this should go brighter uh, and afterwards, ah, delay. Let's make it 10 milliseconds every, every step and afterwards I will make it darker again. So I'm starting at 255 as long as we are bigger than zero and we are getting smaller. All right, this should do the program, right? This is the program, not very complicated. Try to upload, first challenge, upload. D1, I'm not sure if D1 is recognized. We will see. Really, it's pulsing. All right, first challenge solved. Yeah. Okay, it's pulsing. So now I could use this output and trigger, and trigger my trigger. Trigger the trigger where I put the trigger. I'll put it. Put, 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 here. Here. So actually, Ground, the ground is black, yes, ground is black. And plus, trigger, event. So I use the trigger output, D1, and ground. And this should already trigger, ah, you see, it's all already triggering. Camera. If you look, here is the here is the light, okay, and the light shows also. It's going also darker, and not that dark. Mm -hmm. All right. So on one side, I need I need my LED stripes. Where is the output? Out. Okay. So this is this side. My is minus, minus, all right, and then plus, minus and plus, and on the other side, I shall put 24 volts. How many volts do I have right now? 7.5, should be, should do no harm. And connect it to this side. Nah. Not that, that good. All right. So now here is the, the thing and now I turn it on. And you should see if I go up to 24 volts. Ah, uh, 24. Yes. Ooh, and it's flickering. Ooh, there's some interference. Ah, ha, 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 ha. This is what I feared. You see, this flickering. If I make it slower, if I make it slower, then we should see, let's say, 10 times slower and not go up. No, let's go up to 255. Or oh, let's make it five times slower. It should be sufficient. Upload. Then we should also see. It's getting hot already. Because these are really high power stripes, you know, and they are getting pretty warm. They are getting pretty warm. Uh, yeah. So you need to. to oh. Ooh, B. 
big flickery. Oh now it's fucking big good again. Oh and again flickering. Yeah. So I have to find a way somehow to speed up the output. This I'm going to find out. Yeah. And explain hopefully next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.